good afternoon to all of you. That was a super entrance by uh, Joey. Thanks to Joey. Uh, mahirap maghanap buhay talaga sa PLDT, di ba? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let me start. I recall that time in late 1998 when we were when we invested in PLDT, and even earlier when we made our first telco investment in Smart way back in 1993 that everything about our business in telco was only voice. It was a simple word then, because we were a single product business. And here we are, only about 20 odd years later, and everything, or almost everything is digital, and voice has practically faded away. So from that short historical perspective, we welcome you to this digital world, and I'd like to add our welcome to this Philippine Digital Convention 2019. Of course, we all know that the digital business today has become infinitely more complex, uh, multi-dimensional, multi-products, multi-networks, multi-devices, and participants are no longer limited to telcos. Technology and OTTs have entered, and some are now even playing a bigger role than traditional telcos. The barriers to entry into our industry has come down to the point where practically anyone with the brain and stomach for it can join the market and disrupt it. In addition, we all know that technology has accelerated the pace of change and with each step forward it has brought us to the edge. There are no more incumbents in the business and dominance is slowly receding into irrelevance. That's how risky our business has become. We'd like this convention not to be a classroom where knowledge is imparted one way from teacher to student. This is a sharing experience where we contribute our knowledge and insights together. The digital world is, after all, interactive. Yes, we look forward to listening to today's speakers as they share their insights, but we should participate in dialogue with them. So I would encourage all of you to ask questions and sometimes to challenge. So I'd, I'd like to close now by Ab, no, Ab Ovo, where I began with this historic thought. Further back, 70,000 years ago, in fact, our species, the thinking man, were insignificant animals nestled in some corner of Africa and coexisting with some other forms of human beings then. After several millennia, the thinking man has become the master of this planet, but the scourge of other species and his own environment. One particular author, Yuval Harari, has in his book called Sapiens, has adopted a different taxonomy in describing human progress through the centuries. He classified that progress into three important revolutions in history. The cognitive revolution 70,000 years ago when man began to think. The agricultural, agricultural revolution 12,000 years ago when man began to till the soil. And now the scientific, scientific revolution which started only about 500 years ago. There is no doubt that technology has caused the many benefits we now see and have. We've raised food production, built great cities, created timeless art and entertainment, established businesses large and small, eradicated critical diseases. Yet sufferings and deficits remain in numerous parts of our planet. Disease, poverty, wars, discrimination, inequalities. So over this great art of time of 70,000 years, we remain unsure of ourselves and where we actually want to go. Perhaps this is what the theme of the edge today really means. So through all the many developments of technology, I think at the end we should keep in touch with our humanity. Thank you and good afternoon to all of you.